Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Turn Him Dump. I'm your boy LP82 along with my co-host. Young Tech, aka Wordplay. Where we talk about everything that's going on in the world, especially in hip-hop. And of course, Young Tick, he always has the questions. But first and foremost, before we get in there, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing straight, man. How was your weekend? It was good. It was alright. Can't complain. Can't complain. Not one bit. Not one bit. Yeah, I went to uh, I went to San Diego this week. Right, right. How was it? Oh, it was cool, man. Enjoyed a little vacation, you know, took off of work. Right. You know, let the kids see the beach and all that, so it was cool. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, so there's a lot of things that has happened, uh, but one thing we're going to touch in particular is the boxing world. Yes, yes, sir. So... Oh, that was the wrong one. All right, we're good. Forgive me. <laughs> All right, so ahead. as you know, uh, the Mayweather fight happened, you know, Mayweather and Logan Paul. Uh, what is your thoughts on that, man? Did, first of all, you predicted what? You predicted Logan was going to win? Nah. You knew, predict that. Come on, man. You knew that. Nah, I didn't predict he was going to win. I, he shouldn't have won. If he would have won, that would have been... That would have been a smack in boxing face if he would have won. <laughs> like, do you think, like, do you think he gave it his all? Yeah, I think he won. If anything, he won just by stepping in the ring with him. He won automatically. I think Mayweather's playing with him the whole time. He I better be playing. Do you think that situation where they said he knocked him out and he leaned on him, do you think that was true? You think he knocked him out and just tried to keep the fight going by uh, keeping him up? I don't, I don't know. Like, just, like think about it, like, if he if he was doing that, then you know, like okay, cool. But it kind of, to me, to be honest with you, it kind of weakened to me the whole iconic look at me with it. Like why, you said, why you say he should have just knocked his ass out? Like nah. he called it a day. But you got to think about it. You got a, a veteran fighting like a rookie, really. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't really an expert in that area. You know, he's a YouTuber. You know, so I don't think he would have. I think he would have got backlash from. What, so. what, Mayweather beating who he is and knocking his ass out? I mean, like, I, I think because it's kind of like, you know, they already hating on Mayweather as it is. You know, that would have just been more on top of that, of them to hate on Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that. I feel like it would have been something. Because they, they even said something after that, I believe. I believe they was hating on him after that. Yeah, like, for what it was worth, though, like, you got to understand, like, Mayweather gave him the opportunity to fight him. You know how many people wanted to fight Mayweather that he told he turned it down? And he fought Logan Paul. <laughs> if yeah, I was a boxer, I'd feel, I'd feel some kind of way. Yeah. Uh, like, think about it. You've been fighting your whole entire life, and you want to fight the best, and then this nigga go fight a YouTuber. I'd be hot. <laughs> I mean, the dude was 6'2", bigger than him, you know right. what I'm saying? I think it's a lot of people predict that Logan Paul was going to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, and, and, and to me, it looked like he, he came out going crazy on him, you know what I'm saying? But Mayweather... Conducted itself right. He, he, hey, he plays smart. Hey, he, he, maybe, yo, Logan Paul hit Mayweather a couple times. He hit him. I mean, what, you, you have to look how big he is compared to Mayweather. You know, he gonna, hey. if he didn't get a couple jabs in on him, I'd be hey, like, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, that's what it was supposed. To, he was supposed to get nothing on him. Man. He, he, Mayweather felt a couple of them. I know he did. I know he was like, damn, okay. <laughs> so that's how you feel. <laughs> like again, like I said, I think Mayweather. Does what he do best, you know. He analyzes your fight game, you know <laughs> what I'm saying. See where you're going with it, and then knows how to get you from that. Well, okay, you know? and I think he can do that. Uh, with uh, honestly, do you think he had to do that much strategic planning to fight nah, a YouTuber? Nah. In, in I think I think off top, Mayweather seemed like he was he was a rookie. You know what I'm saying, and he he knew what he had to do. He like if you look at Mayweather cover up the way he did. Like he was throwing all of them blows and wasn't really fading. You know, you know, you know, you know what it is. This is what I come to realize. This is what I come to realize. Just this is the same thing that people that like Mayweather say. People are haters. The same thing about uh, Mayweather fans say about Mayweather. This is like this motherfucker can't do no wrong. And then the people that like Mayweather, everybody's hating on him. So like, <laughs> it's like it's like. It's like it's like with Mayweather. I look at it like this: Mayweather, yes, we, we all know he's by far the best defensive boxing, you know, boxer yeah. there is. 
But let's face it, like shit, he's probably got that into shoulder, it. man. That shoulder roll seems like you cannot get with him on that. You know. What and I'm you know why? Because a lot of people be want to knock me with the fucking head off, and then they come in they with come those in that, intentions. Yeah, like, they come man, in there with those it. intentions, and you usually be like, okay, I already see what you about to do, and then just Mayweather be like, you, you know, I don't box, nigga. I dodge, nigga. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna dodge my way to a victory, man. I'm fucking right now. So, you, you won that though. So we got also the uh, Tyson Fury. And uh, heavyweight champion Tyson Fury and uh, Wilder. and Wilder about to do another rematch. Now, as you know, uh, the first fight was, I believe, a draw. The second fight was uh, Tyson Fury won, and now they're gonna fight July twenty fourth. What is your prediction on that? Um, I don't know. Tyson won, and you seen that fight yeah. before, right? Yeah, it was like people underestimated. <laughs> So do Wilder, like that motherfucker got power, so shit, I don't know. I really can't call that fight though, because to be honest with you, I don't follow either one of them motherfuckers. But from, I would just say, honestly, from that fight that they had though, I know Dante Wilder was not, he was not, you know, predicting that motherfucker would hit him that hard. Yeah. I think he got, I think he underestimated him to the fullest. I think now if he fight, he might come in with a different mindset, but shit. Well, Deontay Wilder did knock him down the, the, the first go round. you know what I'm saying? He knocked Tyson Fury down, so I, I mean, I don't know if the second time they fought, he wasn't at his tip-top shape, you know what I mean? So um, it's kind of hard to, I don't know if that, if he could bounce back from that. But, you know I mean? but you know, it's, it's like that saying that, you know, when we get told as kids, everybody, you know, there's always somebody that's better than you in the world. Yeah. It's just like you say, it's just the position you are in life is only going to determine who your next opponent is. Yeah, that's true. So, shit, you never know. That nigga Tyson might be that nigga, mad, that might be that nigga, like, doomsday, no matter what. Yeah. Nigga, shit, Superman had to fall victim to somebody. Yeah. Shit, that nigga, that nigga they might be that nigga doomsday. That nigga just can't beat that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, uh, like, because there, there's YouTubers and TikTokers pretty right. much fighting in these exhibition matches at this point right now. Right. Do you think it's going, rappers going to get involved in that and start fighting too, or do you think they're trying to protect their image? Well, like, you know what I'm saying? Because you think about it, all of these gangster rappers and all of that, you know what I'm saying? They they they, they, they say the shooting game, but is they willing to get in the ring and actually box? Or you think it's kind of like, oh, I got an image to uphold, I got a... Well, I, honestly, I think just like with anything is entertainment to a certain extent, so I'm pretty sure, like, niggas is not going to take on shit that they know they can't handle. Yeah. So, like... And a lot of these dudes don't fight. <laughs> and, and a lot of times, these be, like, either they don't know each other or they used to know each other. So they're not going to be, like... It's not going to be, like, some two random-ass bot fight rappers that are going to box each other and you not know anything about each other and just fight each other. It's going to be, like, niggas that you probably was cool at one time, now they beefing, it might be yeah. two niggas that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like you said, you know, we got to understand, YouTube world and this, you know, this rap industry nowadays, a lot of these niggas really do have street beef. Yeah. I think, I think, I think to do that, it is important to do it if you really have beef, I feel like. You know, that way, that, that way it's, it's more exciting for you to actually go at it and, and you know what I'm saying? And okay, let me ask you a question: Beef or a disagreement? Because beef is dead. Like to me, beef is like yeah. Beef. I don't think any of that is real beef to me. I think I think shit. it's a lot of that. Is well, you like real dirt fight, Quando Rondo? <laughs> I mean, that right there is beef. When, when it comes to like that, yeah, that's real. When shit. it's someone on site type of thing, yeah. then then I, I say that's beef. But when it's y'all just going back and forth on live talking and all, I don't I don't consider that beef. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what that's I said. Disagreement. Like, yeah, disagreement. <laughs> Like who who would you want to see match up if you if you had a chance to, to see somebody who you think would be a good fight in the exhibition match? A good rapper fight. wise. Rapper wise. Um. Well, I don't really know like what rapper like if I if I want to see a good fight, then I would have to kind of figure out who who has had some type of experience in actual boxing or fighting. Because, like, there's one thing to see. these dudes are rookies. Huh? Yeah, well, like, there's some people that do, like, Gilly. Like, Gilly got background in boxing. Like, I would like to see that nigga box somebody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, like, you got people that that don't really know how to fight or don't know how to box. And they can't handle no two rounds, three rounds. I would love to see 50 a game. Nah, uh, game. Uh, 50 a work game. You think so? Well, how 50 you know got that, a background though? in boxing. How you know that, though? 
I mean, how you hey, know? Yo, how you hey. know when to get in there? You, hey. how long ago has this been, and how you know if hey, you yo, still bro, got bro, it? Bro, you know listen, what I'm saying? Listen, if Fifty was overweight and shit like that. Fifty is still physically fit. <laughs> nigga. That nigga still probably like any. Okay, you seen that one movie where he was a football player and he put you know a cancer patient? Mm. That nigga mm. lost all that weight, nigga, and gained it all back. That nigga I mean, built game, for that. Game is known for beating dudes up too, right? I've never seen him beat nobody up in a real way. <laughs> like I'm not not to say like I've never seen him actually fight anybody. I've never seen, him. seen it. We never seen Fifty either. Though. We oh hear, no, we it's hear thing, yeah, man. we hear thing. No, but it's been known and it's a proven fact. Even with niggas that used to came with Fifty that hate Fifty, yeah. say that nigga used to break niggas' jaws back in the day. Yeah, they hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a that, that's a nigga that don't like that nigga at all. That nigga was like, yeah, that nigga, his gun game was shit, but he used to break <laughs> niggas' jaws every yeah. day. I like I, like you said, game is taller. Game he's, is, st- he's very strategic too, fifty. So I think getting in the ring, I think he's gonna play it smart, you know. Versus trying to street fight, I think I think that's what happens with with a lot of these uh, these people is they they go in there street fighting, you know what I'm saying? And they not boxing. That's a well, it's a totally shit. two different things, you know what I mean? Burning himself out. Like you got uh, I believe his name Woodley and uh, what's the boy name? Knocking out everybody, Jake Paul. <laughs> you got, you got uh, a uh, MMA he, fighter. He's gonna got, beat his ass. You got a UFC fighter fighting against a boxer. Who, who, who would you say takes that? Shit, nigga, Jake Paul to me still a YouTuber, nigga. That, <laughs> that nigga only had two fights, three he fights. Knocked out fights. everybody. He fought them. Bro, he fought Nate Robinson, my nigga. And <laughs> no, it's just one nigga like. Like the last night he fight, that nigga was a wrestler slash UFC. Like he didn't know what the hell he was. So do you think Willie gonna get him? Or I don't know. Willie, that motherfucker's a built ass nigga, man. I don't know that nigga. But see, that when the fuck the guy he fought before he knocked him out, he was a UFC fighter. I know, but look how that nigga was out of shape, bro. That nigga had a dad bod for sure. That nigga looked like all he do is drink beer and smoke cigarettes. Like real shit. Like that. To me, look at it's I mean, like, uh, Jake Paul ain't in the tip top shape or something. He way man. younger though. He was that dude was like in his forties. He was up there. He's old. Like he's old. He was up there. Like I, okay, I look at this. The only so you thing, think that does matter? What being in shape? Your age, body frame. Uh, I think everything matters. I think your footwork matters. I think your 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 the size, your height, your reach. All that shit matters when you're fighting somebody that knows what to do with all that. If you if you a tall motherfucker. But you know how footwork, you know, you got good feel, you know how to defend yourself, da da da. And you fighting a short motherfucker that has the same ability as you, yeah. you're gonna win. Mm-hmm. Because your 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 skills are matched, because you're taller. But if you're a tall motherfucker that have no skill level and is a short motherfucker that got all the skill level, he's gonna beat your ass. Yeah. I think I think that's why that's just where it is. Now just, people are, it just depends on your skillful level. Yeah, this yeah. is where your skill is at. Like, like, I seen DDG out there, man. His background is in boxing. Yeah, he used to box. Yeah, he, he got down on that. I like his foot, his his work, his, his positioning. You know how, how he you know counter punches and all of that. Yeah, he he did his thing. But that. but but once again, like you said, there there's that whole stigma of I'm taller, so you know I'm I should be the one the victor. Or, that really doesn't matter. Though. It it don't, but it matters in this it, it matters in a situation to where the skill level is matched. Like I said, but. With him, it's like he probably took it. Like you gotta think, DDG wasn't even really training for the match because he already knew how to box. He already had some type of skill level. This other dude ain't got no skill level in boxing. He's just tall and fit. Yeah. You know that shit goes right out the window when you're in a ring and you're forced to maneuver around and you got rules and regulations and shit. When you're in the street, you know ain't no rules and regulations. It's like it's either him or me type shit. Yeah. Uh, like even like back to Fifty, like Fifty, he's very uh, he's very into boxing. He's even into promoting. He's into setting up fights. So that within itself just goes to show you that he's still connected to that world. Yeah. Where his game is just like shit. You know, what the, he just works out and he's a rapper. Yeah, I'm not saying so. He can't do you, box, so you think Game would just come in there street fighting pretty much? I think Game would come in with the mindset of just I'm bigger than you type shit. <laughs> but, but like, let's face it, 50 is swole as fuck. That nigga is not, he, sh- he may be shorter than the game, but he ain't sh- hella short. Like, yeah. he know how to box. So I think game is going, I think 50 go either get that nigga a run for his fucking money or beat the shit out of him. Yeah. How many how many fights have you seen? Of game? No, just in the whole exhibition. Exhibition? I saw, I've seen pretty much all of them. Yeah? Yeah. you seen uh, Lamar Odom, Aaron Corbin? Yeah, man, that's, that was a dumbass <laughs> fight. Like, that, like, okay, once again, short motherfucker, tall motherfucker, no skill level in between the both of them. Yeah. Like, 
You know, that, was, that was kind of a funny fight. Though. Yeah, it, it, and it really, if, what people feel like, that's what the celebrity shit is supposed to be. It's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be entertainment. Now you got some of these dudes really taking on that persona like a boxer. Like, right? yeah. you know, now I'm going to fight whoever. Whoever want to fight, man, challenge me. I'm a, you know, da 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 da. Because the Jake Paul in uh, Mayweather, there was no win or lose situation. Yeah. For, for, for Jake Paul, honestly, this nigga has. The rep, and he has the rep, and he has this, the the title to say, "Hey, I can kind of low key pick who the fuck I want to fight." Yeah. He Mayweather basically gave him the opportunity to to be the prize fighter. Yeah. He can pick Logan whoever. Paul? Yeah, Logan Paul. Yeah. He can pick whoever. Yeah. I said Jake Paul. Logan Paul. I wonder why Mayweather and Jake Paul didn't fight though. That 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 didn't make sense to me. Well, because at the time Jake Paul was going after Conor McGregor. That, that that never even played out. Though. I know it didn't play out because Conor McGregor's not taking him serious. Mm-hmm. So at the time, okay, right off the Jake Paul fighting, uh, um, what's that name? Jake Paul and Woody? No, 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 no. The basketball nigga, Nate Robinson. Oh, yeah. After they had finished fighting Nate Robinson, that was around the same time that Logan Paul was calling out Mayweather. Oh. And then when he when he got finished fighting Nate Robinson, uh, Mayweather. Kind of was already like Logan Paul already called dibs on that one, so Jake Paul started calling out Conor McGregor. Mm. So he was like, "Okay, Conor McGregor." But if you really notice, once Conor McGregor kind of blew him off and said, "Fuck, I'm not even, you're not even on my level," type shit. Yeah. You notice that he started joining in on the taunting of Mayweather. Yeah, when he took off his hat and all that. And in, in, in a way, it's kind of like saying, like, if you really, I really looked at it like Jake Paul was trying to say, like. After you fight my brother, like, I'm up for it, too. It was good. Like, yeah. you know, that type of shit. So, I don't know. We might see Jake Paul and me with the fight. What, which one did you enjoy watching the most? Like, did you actually like watching it? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. The Mayweather-Logan Paul fight was kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a lot of hugging. I would say... I would, say, know, I'd say, I would probably say that's the best one I've seen. I would say Jake Paul and Nate Robinson. That was a good fucking match. <laughs> That nigga laid him out, like, yeah, that, a couple yeah, times. <laughs> but Nate Robinson came in tacky, though, man. He was he was just, like, pretty much just just throwing himself at him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, kind of street fighting in a sense, you know? And that's why I think need to, uh, you know, people need to differentiate the two. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it shouldn't be boxing and street fighting. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, at boxing, you got you to gotta box. You got to be strategic. And you gotta you gotta know how to do them counter punches. You gotta it's 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 a lot that comes yeah. with that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people just come in there street fighting, going wild, thinking they gonna knock somebody out, and it don't really work that way. You, you know, and another thing too is just like people confuse athleticism with like the ability to do everything. Like people think just because they're athletic, they can do fucking everything. Yeah. Which is which is in some cases that should work. Like it is, it is a mentality Same. thing too. But yeah, so you know, Nate Robinson probably looked at him like I play basketball for so many years. I'm physical fit. shape. Yeah, yeah, I'm in shape. Yeah. You know, he probably looked at it like, man, I, man, this motherfucker on YouTube, I should dust his ass off. But it don't work that way. It's like, yeah. you know, shit. Like I'm, I'm not. I can't really sit up and say that Jake Paul is a great fighter because he really he's not. Yeah. He really is not. He still have he's a lot of He's just fighting people him. that that's not really boxers like that. So he's building he's his reputation. Good. He's looking good in that area because of that. Right? Yeah. He's building his reputation, and and you know, and that's and I think that's where everything is at right now. Like, cause at, for one for a period of time, people stopped watching boxing to watch UFC fights because people felt like it was more real, it was more bloody. You now people, like I said, people want to see that that fight fight. They don't want to see that strategic shit. You know, like there's some. Now don't get me wrong. There's there's you know you, there's some levels you know of strategicness in uh, I don't know if that's a word, but. And uh, UFC, you do have to have some type of skill, you know, and all that type of stuff. And I'm not trying to take away from that. Yeah. But in the UFC, you can have all the skill and get hit with the wrong kick, get punched. Like, it's just wild fighting, in a sense, overall. Yeah. Whereas boxing is more punch, jab, jab, you know, jab, 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 you know, go up, jab, 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 move around, move around, all that type of shit. Yeah. When UFC is like, motherfucker, I'm coming to rip your fucking head off. Yeah, a lot of these, do you think it, it's more complex to, to to learn boxing or UFC? Well, UFC, uh, boxing is boxing. It's like one pretty much, there's different ways of boxing style, but it's just one 
way of fighting. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You fight with gloves on. You can't use your feet. You can't, you know, you can't hit below the belt. All that type of shit. Yeah. Whereas in UFC, it's a mixture of everything. It's a mixture of boxing, wrestling, grappling, jujitsu, and all this other shit. You look more like street fighting with UFC. Than uh, like boxing. I yeah, because the, the thing about that is everybody comes to the to the octagon with different level of skill level, like. So you might be like a like a grappler. You might be into you know jujitsu. You might be to all this type of different shit. So your fighting levels are going to be different. Yeah. So like even like just like just say when Mayweather fought Conor McGregor, his first instinct is to kick and knee and all that type of shit. Where that's not allowed in boxing. Yeah. Where boxing is just you know you, all you can do is use your hands. Yeah. Like I I don't think with, with these unprofessional fights like Lamar Odom and Aaron Carter, right. I don't I don't feel like you should have to pay to see that. I, I really don't. I mean, like, I can see, like, the Mayweather fight where, you you know, you got two boxers that's kind of like they somewhat know what they're doing. You know, I could understand right. paying for that, but not skillful, you know what I'm saying? Well, people that's not really, I don't think you should have to pay for that. You know? <laughs> no, no, no I, I feel you because, like they say, there, there's a certain level of, of a skill level that they don't possess that's where it's going to make it somewhat of a good fight, right? Yeah. So you got a lot of wild antics and approaches to, you know, fighting and stuff like that. But the thing about it is, it's like, if they're not going to do it for free, so why, you know, they're not going to expect yeah. nobody to uh, watch it for free, you know? So yeah, that's true. they're going to want, they going to want to, you know, they're, they're stepping out of their field or whatever the fuck they do to embarrass themselves in a whole nother environment. So they want to get the bag for it. Yeah. So they got to do pay-per-view. Yeah, it, that's the only way they're going to do it. For these unprofessional fights, do you, how many rounds do you think should go for them? Because I noticed they've been getting tired a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had maybe first two couple rounds, they like exhausted. Like, I seen that Bosco fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look like they was, like, tired in the second round. Like, you know, just swing. I guess just not really being in shape like that. Like, how many rounds is good? Would you say is good for an unprofessional fight? I think uh, unprofessional. I think the way they have it is, I think it's decent. I think it's a decent it's amount. Like, like three rounds or something. Yeah, like that. three rounds, four rounds, or have you, whatever, whatever, whatever they agree to. Like, yeah. like um, that fight with that fight. It's like they're older, they're older gentlemen that decided to train for at least two months before the fight. Like, so you got to look at it like these niggas are setting their ways for one. You know, they're, you know, they smoke, they drink, you know, they may be working out and stuff like that, getting ready, but they still got lifestyles that they uphold outside of that. Yeah. So, you know, that would, that within itself, and they're older, so yeah. they can probably train for like seven months and probably still have the same result in the ring. Yeah. You know, like, just shit, you just don't have that same wind in your lungs, you ain't been conditioning for years older, for that shit. You know, yeah, you're older. Yeah, you're older. Like, even, even with these younger dudes, some of these dudes is getting winded, like, it's just, you're... You can't, you can't prepare, you can train as much as you want, but ain't nothing like being in the ring and having that real action and that real opponent fighting. Yeah. And that's where you develop your skill. And I, I think that's probably the most important thing to have is endurance. You know, yeah. to where you, you, you're long-winded and you can last, you know, because once you're tired out, you, you defeat it. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Pretty much. So I think that's the number one thing in boxing that, that you need first, you know, is exactly. endurance. Exactly. Um, as far as the uh, gloves up, guns down situation, you <laughs> yeah. know they're trying to promote that and trying to, um, you know, you know, put that into the, you know, the business to where it's like we we not gonna kill each other. We gonna put put the gloves up and, and fight instead of you know resorting to violence in, in that sense. Uh, do you think that's gonna work? Do you think that's gonna or do you think that's pretty much? Just a title, you know what I mean? I think that shit only going to work for people that weren't going to use guns in the first place. Yeah. Like, you know, like, let's face it, you know, Bosco and Gonzo, they real beef was just internet. They didn't know each other from anything. They don't have, you know, I they think made, they had real issues, though. Like, well, who? Like, they never even seen each other in, in the midst of that. Mm. Like, like, I, I know it was back and forth words exchange. Exactly. But, but not nothing physical. Yeah, not nothing physical. Like, like, say, like, if, if, me and you, right, we're both entertainers. Mm -hmm. But, like, let's just say on the street level, like, some shit has really been went down between us. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, I think a lot of people kind of look at the Gucci and, and you know, um, uh, Jeezy Gigi. situation. Yeah. And, you know, nobody would have thought for a thousand million years that would actually would have happened. But 
there's a lot of a lot of conversations and understandings and for, you know, getting over and all that. And that's they didn't even fight. They just pretty much shared the stage together. Yeah, it took a lot for them to do that. So a lot of people that you know, they're if they're gonna fight, they're gonna fight. But if it's on some like street street level shit, yeah. that shit ain't gonna happen like that. Them niggas gonna probably like try to kill each other now. Oh uh, yeah, if it's some real beef or yeah. some real issues like that, they gonna pass the boxing. Yeah, if the guns <laughs> been up. If the guns is up, they gonna be up. Like, like that Quando Rondo, it ain't gonna be no yeah. Quando Rondo and Lil Durk in no Hell nah. man. It, it can't even go down that. like that. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like I, to be honest with you, not to say I want anybody killing anybody or anything. I would look at a little different, way different if he felt like a boxing match can make it cool between them. Yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not. I think, I think kill people even look at. Him. I think even people would look at a little dirt weird. Yeah, like, like what the fuck? If he try to promote it like that. Exactly. <laughs> But then again, like they say, to each his own. Like, you know, I can't judge a man for wanting to change his life, but I don't see that shit happening, like, in the next month, shit, the next couple of years. And I guess a lot, like, look at Jeezy and what's his name? And we don't really know the full, full story on what really transpired between them, but it's just that shit happened. And it took them niggas, like, years to be like, all right, let's still, we can, at least we can do yeah, a sharing stage. Allegedly, I don't know, but, yeah. you know, allegedly, if you had a man coming in your house to, take you out, you know what I'm saying, uh, for a lot of people, that that wouldn't fly, you know, for them to even be back cool again, you know what I'm saying, so for them to make amends on that is, you know what I'm saying, that shows growth, you know what I mean? Like a mother, baby. Um, if you was a celebrity, would you get into the exhibition match with somebody, or, or uh, would you do it for the money, how, how would you handle that? I think I would do it, but it, like you said, it's just all about who it is and what it, what what was the issue between us. Oh, it was like that. That's the thing. Like if it's like some like like some shit that a conversation can could handle, then yeah, I'll do it. But if it's like on some shit to where you did me wrong, to where I, there's no coming back from that, I'm not about to watch you. It like me doing that is gonna whatever the you issue. You wouldn't want was. to square it out with somebody you had issues. With? Nah, yeah, I would, but not not if it's something to where that shit was like some real like fucked up, disrespectful, like just oh, no coming back from shit. Yeah. But if it's like on some like me, like we're on the internet and we're beefing and we're like, oh man, fuck you and this and that, and yeah. you know, I, I'll fight him for that. But you mm -hmm. know, there's some shit that you just can't come back from. Yeah, Simple. Sure. That's just what it is. Do you think? Uh, would you would you want to see women fight too? Celebrity women like? Would you no, want to I see don't that? Discriminate. <laughs> Let them fight. You know what I'm saying? I would rather see them in like you know wet t shirts. You know what I'm saying? Blood wrestling or some shit like that. But, you know. nah. So you so you say you think you think rappers would get in the ring? Yeah, I think, but it would have to be on some like some surface shit. It can't be nothing deep. Like it would be on some, like you say, just niggas that have a disagreement about 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 like like for instance, if Drake. And Meek Mill would have fought at the time they were beefing. I could I could see that fight, right? Yeah. Because really, it's just him saying shit on Twitter and him feeling some kind of way. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, Meek Mill shot at him or he shot at Meek Mill or, he, or Meek one of Meek Mill boys killed one of his. But it was just on some surface level shit. Yeah. Them niggas was once cool at one time and nigga Meek felt some kind of way. If Drake would have called him out for a match right then and there, you know, I could see that happening. 